Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting After Effects tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and this is the new Boston. Today we're going to be talking about importing and setting up folders within your project so that you are able to pass it on to another artist. Usually when you're working in a studio there is a production line and keeping everything neat and organized helps speed up the process of the production line so the next person that gets your stuff isn't all confused about where everything is it's not a bunch of mumbo jumbo they know what they're going to and what they're looking for and it's good to have a good system so the first thing we'll start out with is uh, importing the quickest and easiest way for me to import is just double click over here in the project panel it brings up your import you can click on your whatever you want to import and then there's sometimes there's a twirl down menu that has more usually uh, you want to keep it on footage so let's open this up and uh, to quickly bring it up I'll just make a comp real quick put it on something interesting oh, this looks interesting and dangerous so that's exactly what I wanted so and then uh, another way to import is file import so click on file up there go to import file let's go to my images folder uh, this looks like a great one and let's see and he looks happy nice very studly looking all right now let's uh, go to another way is the hotkey control I on a Windows and when I'm, I'm always using a Windows uh, it would be command I on a Mac so let's import that so you can import video you can import import images you can import uh, image sequences which kind of acts like video if you import them correctly and then you could import PSDs whole bunch of stuff we'll uh, probably import different things throughout the uh, tutorial series also we can go over the project panel a little bit here you can click on these columns to sort so if you want to sort by uh, alphabetical order um, sorting by type is pretty useful you can uh, grab here on the corner when it turns into this double arrow and open it up you can see more tabs the file path is nice because you can use that to figure out where your picture is supposed to be in case you moved it by accident you can cl click on up here on the corner where there is uh, this is called the project panel settings and you, there's different settings here you can add different columns if you would like um, I pretty much just keep it over here by the frame rate and this is basically the only information I really ever use um, down here this is the interpret footage button create a folder button create a comp button and this is the project settings button if you click on it it brings up the project settings or you can oh click on it and it um, rotates between the different color depths and this is the delete button so we can delete whatever we click on there use this to scroll down here obviously and this is the quick search so if I type in Bucky it'll only show it'll bring up everything that has the word Bucky in it which is nice it's very handy if you have a lot of stuff and and folders you can quickly find something and it's very useful now when I was talking about folders you want to keep things organized so you can pass everything down the pipeline nicely and there's no problems so let's create a folder here you name it um, you, you always want to have a comps folder now if you mess up and you don't type it in correctly hit just hit enter and you are able to just retype it in but I didn't misspell it which is good and drag your comps into there you want to create images folder these are the three main folders that you should usually have and a oop, that was the wrong button and a video folder you could do video you could say footage 
for images you could say pictures um, whatever your boss wants or whatever you feel comfortable with so I guess that's uh, a good overview of the project panel here and how to import things and uh, it's a good idea to remember everything oh there is one more thing that I would like to uh, show you the uh, when you click on let's say a movie or one of your images you get a bunch of information up here which is very helpful actually um, up here right here 352 by 240 is your resolution so that's how big the video is 352 by 240 yeah and um, you get your frames per second which is which is nice you want to make sure that your frames per second match throughout your comp if you have 21 that's 24 and one that's 29.97 they're not gonna really gel and it's gonna look all weird 24 frames per second is usually for film and 29.97 is usually for television you have the length here what type of file it is and then you got all the rest of your information I mean I don't really use this audio information too much um, but you may need to use it since the video does have audio on it um, Yep, that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. Stop by for the next one where we're discussing something entirely new and exciting. Have a good one, everybody.